Hi, this is video number 7 uh, of the supplementary videos about our course data visualization and now we have just all of this data alright so I think for every page you can just slip before the cars or after the cars so let's say just sleep for two seconds before getting all these values about the cars and after getting all these cars let's sleep again so let's say time let's sleep this time one seconds all right so search for the link of the next page but uh, it's going to take some time right so it just starts with the first page and then continue and get all this data about the cars and then close the window and the next page and the next page and the next page we can have uh, hundreds of cars so we are going to wait a lot so to make this useful i'm going to write all this data to a csv file and i'm going to update this csv file uh, for example for every 10 minutes or maybe one hour or maybe two hours all right so to do this i'm going to import another module to write something to a csv file and it has the name of course csv so let's say import csv so I'm going to write all this data to a CSV file first and then I'm going to update this CSV file for every 10 or 20 minutes. So after closing this browser window here, let's write all this data to a CSV file. So let's say with open and let's give a name like cars that CSV for example and we are going to open this file to write something so the mode of this file should be W and you can specify the character for the new line it's going it's trying to help me but we cannot see anything so that's all right so the new line character I'm going to use it as an empty string cannot see again all right so we are going to try to open this file as f so the instance is going to be f if we are going to be successful so let's continue with this block all right so i'm going to create an instance to the csv rider so let's say rider is equal to the csv rider methods and our file is f like this so we have our writer now and with this instance i'm going to write a new row so let's say write row and this first row is going to be our heading row so i'm going to specify the name of the columns so let's say it's going to be a python list so the year kilometers and then the color and price and location all right we have this first line including the headers and then for every car we have in the car list for every item that we have in this list I'm going to write another line so let's say for car in car underscore lists which is our list all right so write a new row so let's say rider dot write row and again it's going to be a list including all these values so now we have for each item in car underscore list 
it's going to be a dictionary right so we have created like this as a dictionary with the keys and values set so let's come back to here and get the values for this dictionary so let's say car with the key year and also the car with the key kilometers and the car with the key the next one is color and car with the key kilometers and the car with the key location all right we have it now we have our csv file right and to make it updated for every 10 or maybe 20 minutes i'm going to put all these codes into a another if structure so at the beginning in this update cars function let's say if not os dot path that exists so i'm going to check if we have the cars.csv file or not so if we don't have it so we can understand it's the first time we run this code so we should create this cars.csv file at the end of this block all right so let's check it so let's say cars.csv if we don't have it just do this or there can be a second situation so if we check the modification date of this file and if it is older than for example 10 or 20 minutes then we should just update the cars that we have in this file so if we don't have this file with this condition or let's find the difference between now so to get the now i'm going to use the time method from the time module and we are going to calculate the difference so let's say minus and now get the date which we modified this cars.csv file so let's say os dot pat dot get the modification time get m time of the file cars.csv all right now we get the difference in the unit of seconds so let's say 20 minutes like 1200 all right 1200 like this if we if this uh, one of these two conditions satisfied then we are going to update the cars so now all of these codes can run so we can just shift these codes with just one top space because you know the indention is everything in python You can just select all of these codes, codes and you can just hit top space for once. But I like to do this. So after this, we are, I think, here with an else, right? I think it's correct let's check the indention all right we have the if we have else here now if we if these conditions are not satisfied then we can just get our car list from the csv file right so we don't have to update the file cars.csv but we can get the data instead of using selenium and get all of this data from the website which takes a lot of time 
but we can just get the data from CSV file. So let's initialize this car list again as an empty list. And then let's just open the cars.csv cars.csv now in reading mode as F again. Now instead of creating a writer, we are going to create a reader. So let's say reader equals csv.reader with F. All right. So now we can iterate in this reader. So let's say for row in reader. So it means for every line that we have in this CSV file. So let's append this car list, right? So again, I'm going to use the same structure here, like this, try and accept. So let's say try and then car underscore list dot append with a dictionary again. So the year, this time, now we are going to read the data from the CSV file. And again, it comes as string. So we are going to convert this text into integer again. So let's make it by using the int function, which is a building function of Python. So let's say int row zero, All right? This means it's the first item from this row. So basically it means the first column. All right. Let's continue with the kilometers. So let's say kilometers should be equal to integer version again. Convert to integer, but this time the second column, row 1. And continue with color. Now we don't have to change the dot with nothing, uh, which is the thousand separator, which we have in the kilometers and also for the price, because uh, when we write this data into the CSV file, we have already get rid or get rid of these uh, dots. So we don't have to do it again. All right. So to get the color, we can just get directly the third column. And also for the price, sorry, for price, I'm going to get the converted to an integer and the fourth column, so with the index 3. And the location should be row 4. All right, now we have it. Let's add the accept part here. Again, don't do anything, so let's just set continue here. All right, now we have our car list coming from the web page, and then update the CSV file here. Or if we have the cars.csv, and if we have newer than the 20 minutes, which is not older than 20 minutes. Then we get the car list from the CSV file, reading the CSV file. All right. So now after this part, we can just return this list. So let's say return car underscore list. So the data can come from the CSV file or from the website. But uh, in both scenarios, we have it. All right. Now, uh, the last thing is now we should use this function in our index function, which is our main function. When somebody try to get this main page, all right. So we are going to continue with this call in the next video.